Good afternoon from the Orlando Premium Outlets on Vineland. We're here today to go to Disney's Character Warehouse to kind of see if they've got anything new there because we haven't been in a month. But also, I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a, an idea of where the Character Warehouse is located and where I park and uh, just a few little facts about going to the outlets. So first things first, I come in off of Vineland and I park in this lot over here, mostly because this is where the electric vehicle charging stations are. Also, this lot is free, but it does seem to be kind of a busy lot, so it might be hard to find a parking spot. There is a garage on the other side of the outlet malls that costs money that'll probably be easier to find a spot, but it does cost money, so not very many people park in it. So this is where we normally walk in, in between Loft Outlet and American Eagle, and it's a pretty straight shot. There is only like a couple of turns. We just kind of go that way and then this way, and, but I'll, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So we came in from right there, and we've made it to our first intersection where we can either choose right or left, and you make a right here heading towards Tory Birch and Lululemon. And once you get to Lululemon, there is another turn that you can make. Like we were headed this direction. Now we're gonna make a left here in between Guess and Lululemon. And it's just a straight shot down to the character warehouse. So before we head down there though, I did want to point one thing out because this I thought was interesting. Uh, this used to be the Levi's store, I believe. And now it's gonna be Gucci, which is right next to Prada. So it makes sense, but like, uh, who would have known that a Levi's outlet would close and make way for a Gucci outlet? Okay, now we are headed down in this direction. Now that we've made it down to Pop Bar and, what is that, MCM down there? We are almost there. Just a little bit further towards the food court. So now that the roof is gone, we are in the food court area. And you can see the food court over here on the right. And right there is the Disney Character Warehouse. So we came from that direction. Pretty much a straight shot from there. So that's also the other reason that I like to park in that parking lot. So here we are at the Character Warehouse. Let's head inside and have a look and see what kind of deals we can find. There's a sign here that says Assorted Headband $7.99 and they've got the Magic Mirror one and the Rainbow one, but they're just selling this American one. Which still, Jen bought this one for full price. Ding dang, $7.99 here and there's a lot of them. For $2.99 you can get a Kylo Ren First Order Rule the Galaxy hand sanitizer holder. Because you know that Kylo Ren loves to have his hands sanitary and clean. $9.99 for this Galaxy's Edge shirt, and there are a lot of them in a lot of different sizes, too. Well, I guess not a lot of different sizes. It seems like they're all just mediums over here. Yeah, they have a lot of mediums. Maybe nobody wanted the mediums. Also, the neck looks really wide. $79.99 for this Kessel Run Millennium Falcon. You can see the little pieces fall off of it as if it were doing the Kessel Run. That's really funny, actually. There's a BB-9E here. Whoa, look, he's moving around. He's also making noises, but I don't know if you guys can hear the noises. Oh no, a fly landed on me. How much is this? Uh, $19.99, that's not too bad at all. $14.99 for this Captain Marvel Photon Power Glove. I like that. Looks like it makes some noises, it lights up and it makes sounds. Let's see. Ooh. Whoa. For $19.99, they've got this Captain Marvel and Goose figure. A little backpack to hold Goose in for $14.99. They've got a Edna Mode doll. It's not the usual darling, busy inventing the future. And also, it was $49.99 originally. So that's quite a good deal. Oh, this is pretty cool. For $14.99, they've got a Haunted Mansion Hourglass. I like that. I don't think I would ever use an hourglass, but it's cool looking. Oh, these shirts back here kind of remind me of like the shops from Etsy that make t-shirts. And I believe all of them are between $12.99, $7.99 and $12.99. So like this one's $7.99, this one's $12.99, uh, $9.99. How much? $9.99? This one's pretty funny. For $9.99, winner of the Nobel Prize. And it's got a picture of Gaston down there. This is a really neat little hoodie for kids. It says reach new heights and it's got Expedition Everest, Matterhorn Bobsled, Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, and Splash Mountain. It doesn't say Space Mountain, it just says space. And that is $14.99. For $7.99, they have this kid's shirt that says vacation mode. It's got the genie on it. I, I would wear this if I could fit into it. For $4.99, they've got this Stitch water sprayer. If it had water in it, it would be squirting water out of its mouth right now. It's like a mister, just to keep you cool on a hot summer day. Okay, I thought you like pumped it up like this. You don't. It's like a, like a super soaker almost, where you like pressurize it, right? And then it sprays you. 
$7.99 for this Life is Better with Fast Pass youth shirt with the Mickey down here. There's a vacation mode. This is like a Swell bottle, but I don't think it's Swell brand. And it is $14.99. I think this was part of the Purple Potion line where they had the Purple Potion ears and the backpack, but I don't see any of those in the outlets. I just see this water bottle. For $5.99, they have a misting fan that looks like Sorcerer Mickey's hat. I like this thing, it's cool. The fan goes and you spray water into it and it makes it into a mist to cool you off on a hot summer day. $9.99 for this American Legend. It's just like a tray. It's shaped like a star though. But the, it's like American Legend line, I guess. $5.99 for various mugs. Don't just fly, soar. What does this one say? Squeaky, squeak, squeak, squeaker, squeaking. Oh, and this one's like a frozen one. Oh, there's a lot of them. Some Tigger here. Bouncy, trouncy, flouncy, pouncy, fun, 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 fun. Fun, 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 fun. This one just says T-I-double-G-E-R. Eeyore. These are cute. And then Pooh and Piglet down here. And Kanga and Roo. I like this whole set. They're very small mugs though. They're like teacups. Another part of the American Legend line. Got some that say mine, 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 mine. Got one with Mushu on it. Then we have a whole set of Star Wars mugs, a whole side of Star Wars mugs with the schematics of a lightsaber here. Got like baby Darth Vader, I guess. Is that Greedo? And then this one, this one's actually very large. I like that. It's a solo one for $5.99. There's a whole nother rack of these Galaxy's Edge shirts and they're all mediums. Like this entire rack is all mediums. And then there's way more here too. All mediums. Oh, they have a lot of these Kate Spade bags. These big ones are $109. And then these little purses here are $54.99. And they have all different ones of those too to match the giant purses. Oh, I like this. This Loungefly Mickey Mouse Club hat purse thing. And it is $32.99. Oh, they do have the Loungefly Purple Potion backpack. This is $45.99? Yeah, $45.99 for the backpack, originally $70. $25.99 for the purse, originally $50. It's kind of interesting. Oh, what are these? Are these Dooney and Burke stuff? Some Dooney and Burke Tinkerbell bags for $99 for this size. $124 for this size and then $134.99 for this size. Sorry, I got a little bit confused. This one's Tinkerbell, this one's Flower and Garden. So is the Tinkerbell, yeah, $124.99 for the Tinkerbell in this size, $124.99 for the Flower and Garden in this size, and they only have the big Flower and Garden one for $134.99. They have this Loungefly Minnie Mouse purse for a wallet, I guess, for $25.99. This is a Loungefly Flower and Garden Festival purse for $15.99. It's kind of a, is it? No, I think it's like a like a waste pack. That's interesting. Looking at the inside of this purse, got some card holders in there. Just like a wide open purse, really. $7.99 for this white rabbit. I'm gonna call it a pencil bag because there's no no like dividers on the inside. It's just a wide open space on the inside. Super fluffy. $7.99 for this queen of everything. I'm gonna call it another pencil case. Got the Queen of Hearts on the back. But it's just a wide open case on the inside. For $7.99, they have the doorknob from Alice in Wonderland. It's just like a smaller open, I don't know what you call this. Is this it's not a wallet because there's no dividers in it. Just like a little case for something. These are kind of interesting. For $9.99, they've got some light up flip flops for kids. It looks like the whole bottom lights up. The soles on these are very thick and hard though. Oh, okay, I was wrong. The kids are $7.99 and the adults are $9.99. Mm -hmm. Should I get some light up flip flops? Oh, they have a whole lot of Cinderella stuff. So you get this woven tapestry throw for $24.99. You got this Cinderella plate here for $6.99 for the small version. And they've got a large bowl with Cinderella carriage on it for $6.99. And they've got this bottle over here. It says, have courage and be kind. And that is $7.99. They've got this teacup set for $9.99.
so the last time we were here, a lot of people were telling us that this is reversible, and it's not. It's not a reversible shirt. It's just that they use that fabric as an accent from the other shirt. I kind of wish it was. I would wear that orange one for $19.99. I don't really like this one, though. $14.99 for this modern fit polo with an embroidered Mickey. And this is a relaxed fit one for $14.99 as well with the embroidered Mickey on it. $7.99 for this dog bowl from Disney Tales. $7.99 for this Mickey is my best friend shirt. This is a youth shirt and it seems like they do have a lot of kids clothes this time. Ooh, this one's nice. It's like a hooded t-shirt. Almost like a hoodie, but it's t-shirt material. For $12.99, leader of the club. Oh, and then on the inside of the hood is the Mickey Mouse print. For $24.99, they got youth costume dresses, and these are actually buy one, get one 50% off. Kind of a really good deal. A lot of, a lot of uh, pirate ones here, and then a few jasmine ones as well. Oh, they actually have a lot of them. Got some snow white ones. These, I believe, are more pirate ones over here. Then we've got some Anna ones. And then I think this might be Ariel because it looks like a mermaid fin. This is fun. Another waist pack for $22.99. And this one's got Marie on it. Looks like an old school waist pack. Oh, it's Loungefly as well. For $9.99, you've got this Eat, Sleep, Save the World Ladies of the Avengers shirt. For $12.99, we've got my Heart is in Fantasyland shirt. This kind of feels like sweatshirt material. It's very thick. Yeah, look at that. It's like fleeced on the inside. But it's still like short sleeve. Some of these shirts are very strange. I think that might be a dress too, because it's very long. For $7.99, I'm here for the mouse and a Mickey bar. It's a kid's shirt, I like this a lot. I like this, $3.99 for this Mickey keychain. He's like articulated too. His little legs and knees bend and his arms bend. That's so much fun. It's like posable. So during the International Flower and Garden Festival, there was buzzes, it was like a scavenger hunt? I don't remember what it was called, but it was had Buzz the Bee on it, and these were the prizes that you would win. And they are $1.99 now here in the outlets. So they've got this one, and they've got this one with Minnie. They still have a bunch of these Haunted Mansion plushes for $24.99. They're actually really big too, like this is my hand. I have a pretty big hand, but... This is the size of these plushes. $1.99 for this Nemo Wishable, and these Wishables are brand new. They just hit the stores just before summer, and they're already in the outlets. $9.99 for this Nick Wilde doll. It looks like he's had a long day for sure. Judy Hopps looking as professional as ever. $3.99 for these Minnie Mouse socks. There's not very many of those left though. There are a couple of 49 cent postcards here. And then this one right here is 99 cents. Is that, is that Hilton Head? That's so funny. $9.99 for a Hilton Head postcard. I don't really know why this Tofafe is here. Tofafi? Tofifi? I don't really, I don't know why they're selling it here, but they are, these things are full price in these bins. $40.99 for this Minnie Mouse Loungefly purse. Pretty big for the price. Seems like there's only two left though. This is kind of funny. There's a tablet case for $9.99 for the large size. And then $14.99 for the smaller size. $24.99 for this Dumbo purse. This thing's really fun. I wonder if I can, let me unzip it and see what the inside looks like. Okay, definitely has a little like dividers in there to hold your cards, but for the most part is a wide open space inside of the purse. $29.99 for this Small World balloon purse. The whole back opens up. It's fun, but it seems like it would be hard to use because like the back doesn't open up very wide. $29.99 for this Loungefly Tiki Room cage purse. It's a clear purse with a bird hanging inside of it. Now to give you guys an idea of how to get to the character warehouse from the garage, I'm gonna go out to the garage and show you guys how to get here. So when we came from the parking lot, we came from that way. I'm gonna head this way and go to the garage and then come back to the character warehouse so you guys can see how to get here. So over here is the parking garage and that is $10 all day to park. And there's some walkways to get over that you can take the stairs or the elevator down. But basically you end up over on this side of the mall and we're gonna head in and it's a pretty straight shot to the Disney outlets from here too. It's basically like curve around here and then make a left and you're there. I think that kid is in a remote control uh, Lamborghini. That's pretty awesome. So here's the playground and we're making our way past the playground. 
and heading into the Orlando Premium Outlets, just past Brooks Brothers here. As I'm getting into the mall here, I'm noticing that it looks like Levi's didn't close down and they just moved over to this side of the mall. Here it is, it's a little store called Little Driver where you can, I guess, rent them to drive around the malls. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Okay, so we walked in from this direction. You can actually see the garage over there. We made it to this intersection where the J Crew is and Levi's is right there and Godiva is right there. We're just headed straight back towards the food court. So here it is. We walk straight into the food court and to our left here is the Disney Character Warehouse. Pretty much a straight shot from either parking lot that I showed you guys today. So there you have it. That was our trip to the Orlando Premium Outlets on Vineland and a trip into the Character Warehouse. Let's see if there were any new deals. There were kind of a lot. I was actually really surprised that there were still the Kate Spade bags, still the uh, Dooney and Burke bags, still all the lounge fly stuff really surprised that all that purple potion stuff was there like i thought that that would have sold out long ago but it seems like if you were interested in that stuff you should definitely come out to the character outlets and check it out hopefully it helped out for me showing you guys where i park and where the different parking lots are and trying to figure out your way to the character warehouses like i said before this is the vineland outlets the ones that are on vineland there is another outlet on international drive but that one's actually even harder to find parking at and the store is smaller, so I feel like this one's bigger, has a better selection, and a little bit easier to park, even though it still is very difficult to park here. So, all in all, a great day at the outlets. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, Mama. I'm Denny. Now, now it's time, time to pay the, pay the price. price. <laughs>